Loop tube. What's happening today? Well, uh, uh, I bought another shit box because I'm addicted to them, and uh, I have a task at hand. I bought this sight unseen, of course. Well, I seen it in a picture, but I never really drove it until I got there. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna. Uh, it's leaking oil, so it's got a little bit of an oil leak. And uh, it's got a sweet paint job, as you can tell. It's even got some speckles everywhere. So yeah, pretty sweet. Oh! <clears throat> nice little love tap there. And you can actually skin your knee or your elbow on this, because it's like, uh, what did they do? I don't know. Rock art, obviously. Uh, it hit a deer, I guess. And then uh, they uh, did some stuff to it and made it a little prettier, less. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, uh, 500 bucks, right? Obviously, cheap. All kinds of kilometers on this turd, though. Oh, what do you got here? Look at that. Oil, backwards. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, and a manual. And then you've got this little, uh, in the older, shut up. In the older RAV4s, you get, uh, diff lock. So I don't know if that works. So once the snow flies, uh, we're going to see if that works. So when you turn the heat on, it smells like mouse piss. So that's fine. But <clears throat> other than that, uh, i uh, got to address the oil leak. Because it's drips, like a drip. Just a drip, 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 drip. Not like a drip, 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 drip. But actually, just from pulling in, uh, right there, pulling up on the ramps. It was a little chilly because it's raining. It looks better when it's raining. So obviously it looks good right now. But when this is dry, it looks like shit. I mean, it looks like shit anyway, but it looks like less shit. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think I'm going to try. I hope it's not the seal. Uh, some, uh, there's this oil seal for the oil pump that's above in behind the cam cover. No, timing belt cover. And there's a seal in there that goes. It's like a rubber thing. And uh, that goes and then drips. But I was looking at it the other day and it looks like it's dripping from the oil pan consistently. So there's an exhaust that runs over the oil pan. So I'm just going to JB weld that little hole maybe. I don't, well, it's not a hole. It's just the seal's gone. Because I don't feel like really pull in the oil pan if I don't have to but I'm gonna do this first and then go from there so that's what I'm doing so I'm gonna see if this holds I'm gonna sand it or well wire wheel it put some JB weld on there it's just a little drip so it should hold right JB weld is king so we're gonna try that first because I don't feel like pulling the oil pan off tires are shitty kind of like they got a little bit of tread but this will do sweet donuts when it's uh, snow time so that's cool so another couple months and yeah I sold the Corolla and then I was like well I need something else and then I was like well this will work I guess uh, yeah, no cruise, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, it's just a beater, just to get around town. It it really drives like it does have 700 and some thousand K lanes in Zander, because it's like you can feel every bushing is not there, because it rides like a wagon. So it's, yeah. But maybe I'll go to pick and pull and find a couple things for it. Uh, just little things here, here and there. there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get, her, uh, get her going. Okay, I'm going to crawl under there and see if I can sand down that. Okay, so, oh, my shadow's in the road. Oh, see that? Now, now that I get looking a little closer here, I think it's rocked off. Damn it! I don't think that's oil pan. I think that's up above, so that's probably that cam seal. Or, uh, what is it? See, this is a good test. Because we're going to see, by putting thicker oil in there, how much that leak slows down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's the plan. So I'm gonna do an oil change on her. We'll just do that first, because I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to take that off. Uh, it runs good, it, it fires up instantly, and it'll be a good winter beer. It'll do sweet uh, all-wheel drive donuts. When you put that diff lock on there, they'll be, this'll be like a sweet sideways machine. Except it turns left, it doesn't turn far left as it does turn right, so I don't know what's going on there. That's it works, all right, well, we'll see. <laughs> Gotta warm that up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see what it does. On a nooch. Okay, with that siphon for a wee bit. <laughs> Let's put all kinds of stuff in there. Maybe this will help too. <laughs> oh, I should probably grab a, oh, oh, oh. No, we're good. I was gonna say a funnel. Uh, oh, this isn't really, this is like a seal softener dealio. But I mean, mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's see what happens.
What does this thing take? Four liters? Probably. Yeah! Not See? Told you it runs all right. And we'll back her off and then, uh, are we driven? It should drip. Maybe that Lucas is working. Oh, it's gotta get warm, yep. Okay, brought her down. And we'll, uh, recheck the, the goodness lube. Oh, it's need a, it's towel. Okay, let's see what we got. It's an old sticker. And we'll top her right up and then I'll let it run for a bit. Yeah, probably might have to drive it for a couple days just to get that all looby, looby dooby in there. Well, I've been driving this thing for a few days now and it's still dripping oil. So I'm thinking I'm just going to try and let that sit in. But anyway, I found some wheels. Uh, uh. They're quite a bit bigger. Uh, my neighbor had them. And they're Hyundai, yeah. Uh, uh. In the same bull pattern. Uh, but uh. But I think we might do some rubbish. But we're gonna put them on, and see what happens. Anyway, so that's a little uh, update. Uh. Uh. It's a little uh, update. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll uh. Ooh, and wait, I was at pick and pull. I did get there, and we found some new tail lips, and a brand new uh rotor, rear caliper. Oh, and then I got. There was a couple little things inside that it needed to. So these are actually off of a 98, I think, 99. They're a little different. So, but they're definitely a little more shinier. So that's cool. Let's see how that turns out. All right, so I've yeah. uh, been driving this thing for a few days now, and as you can see, uh, she's still uh, doing a healthy trip. Yep, so we know there's oil in there still. Uh, uh. We got the wheels on. So, actually that's not too bad, not too bad. Look at that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good, good. And then we got the taillights in. Oh yeah, she's gonna be a good old beater. So uh, yeah, we'll wait another little while, and then uh, we'll see if that uh, all stop oil leak works. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, doesn't. Anyway, thanks for watching my shitty videos. And uh, oh, the C10, yeah, got some videos on that still suit coming. They're uh, still working on that. Going out there tomorrow to do a brake line and some other things. And uh, yeah, keep on keeping on. Stay classy.